In this full guide, we're gonna be creating these amazing renders using Midjourney to get these interior design shots and go through a range of different scenarios and prompt structures to get us the ultimate interior design shots. So I'll leave some timestamps in this video so that you're able to go through and to see what kind of interior design scenarios that you wanna have a look at. So we'll get straight into it. I'm gonna be walking you through some of the final renders that I've created and we'll also go through together and create some new prompts and I'll take you through that whole structure if you can remember from my last video, we talked about the 242 method. So essentially what that is, is I'll put the structure on the bottom here again for you to remember. But essentially you go two, which is your view and then your subject, or just setting your scene and the subject. So two would be a modern living room, counts as one, inside a penthouse in Manhattan. That's two. You can even add a third part onto that, three, which is in a brutalist style. So you have a modern living room inside a penthouse in Manhattan in a brutalist style. So that's our initial setting the scene. And then you put in a bunch of key words and describing words. So that's our four. And then two is if you want to have to show something specific in the scene. I haven't done this for this prompt, but you'd write like a man watching the TV or the city skyline outside the window. Just a specific detail you put in after the prompt. So that's two, four, two. That's our simple method on how we set up these prompts. So first thing we want to create was a futuristic high rise apartment using like concrete and warm lighting. So you see, if we do a really simple prompt by itself, um, it kind of interprets it how it wants. Now, I'd say this is not very architectural as there's a bit too much going on within the scene uh, because you've let Mid Journey set up the scene by itself. So we went down and then created a more longer prompt here where we described what we actually wanted to see, which was just a modern living room in a brutalist style using these materials. And now it's created from that a much more specific scene as to what we were wanting. So this one looks pretty good which I went then ahead and upscaled this one, which is what you're seeing here. Some specific things I like to use was moody lighting, iReflex 35BL camera, Canon K35 prime lens. By describing the camera and lens, it really sets a specific look to your scene. These ones um, looked pretty good. I think we'll upscale number three, but I'll go ahead and show the final results here as I'm talking and put the actual prompt that I used. And then so these were the final and most effective ones that came up for a modern high-rise apartment. Ironically, the best shot doesn't actually have any views to the outside, but we've also got this view here, which I quite like. It's very modern architectural. You have those architectural elements coming through. Next one was an architectural apartment, very similar, but instead of brutalist and cold concrete, we wanted to do more natural and warm tones. Personally, I'm not too favorable of, but if that's what you want to go for, it could be really good for these kind of commercial ranges. Um, say you're doing an architectural design report, you want to fill up your reference images with some simple, contemporary, modern looking images. This will be really good for that. Next one, we wanted a cozy sky rise apartment at nighttime. You can see you've got some rain coming through the windows here. Uh, it's probably a new build. You know, the build quality of some of these new buildings. The rain will come in, but you can kind of fix that by doing variations. We've got one here where there's no rain inside the building, but we've got this very moody, cozy kind of look. So here are the prompts that I use for this. I found that using more simple and effective prompts uh, will kind of narrow down specifically to what you want to show rather than using you know, these crazy long prompts. Another one using the lo-fi kind of look. And that got me thinking of, if we want lo-fi, we can switch it to Niji 6 instead of Mid Journey. And this intentionally puts on this kind of anime style, lo-fi anime look. This is probably what you'd use. So it looks like this. Then next up, we're going down to residential. We want some, again, cozy interior, natural and warm looks. Just a simple contemporary living room, which we've got here. There's a lot of focus on furniture, but we've got this kind of cinematic look to create this moody atmosphere.
So now for this one, we've got a more Mies van der Rohe, uh, similar to the Farnsworth house, um, secluded, autumn, moody kind of look. So we've got this prompt here, which we've used, using a lot of solarization again with those lenses, putting the emphasis on that. Simple prompts, uh, architecture photography, and which creates a really effective prompt for uh, setting up your scene. So here's a few of those. Next up, we've got this Daniel Liveskin's kind of cold, contemporary, modern look. So here's some of the prompts I've used for this. Big exaggeration on cinematic framing, concrete. Again, I find using just a minimal amount of simple prompts, but it's not so short that Mid Journey is going to go and create some crazy thing that you don't know. And then you're not using too many prompts that's going to be overwhelmed and create something kind of naff. Next up, a uh, bit out of my territory, the whole postmodern quirky. But I've used some of uh, these kind of prompts. If this is what you want, you can probably experiment creating this kind of look. That's just a completely different approach to this. Next up, we've got a contemporary fashion design store. So using some real subtle prompts, again, keeping it short. We're using things like contemporary fashion store. You know, I'll leave the whole prompt here. So if you want to create something similar, you'll be able to do that. I think for this prompt will require a bit more accuracy in what you actually want to see because it's kind of created these random scenarios where you're not exactly sure what you're looking at. So you could probably describe your actual scene, what you want. I would provide better results for that. Then finally, we got some timber architecture here. This looks like what our studio would come up with. The more simple and direct prompts you give, the better it will look. So just curvy timber architecture, soft and warm colors, curved welcoming forms comes up really good. Uh, again, using that 242, you got two at the beginning and then four, just all of your random words that will describe the scene so so these are some of the prompts i used to get this so that's just me showing you how to come up with these different scenarios and the best prompts to use in order to get these scenes so let me know if that was helpful and maybe i'll do another video on this if you'd like to see more in depth and in detail and trying to create some different scenes i've also got another video coming out about contemporary architectural scenes within mid journey. So keep a lookout for that. And um, thank you for watching.